the only way earth can become godly is if earthy beings by their free choice choose to be godly to be godly means to serve his need any of this making sense <laughs> so i have to ask the big question then okay but so how does that thinking justify the holocaust how does how does what happened historically to the jewish nation how, how, how do you reconcile those two things? Were they not needed? And so, or, or I don't, I can't, I can't wrap my mind around, you know, because of course, loving God, all this kind of, you know, loving God, why would he do that? Why would he take his chosen people allow that? But is it, would that philosophy say that they didn't need God? They didn't serve God, so God punished them? No, that doesn't make any sense at all to me. Does not, does not. So, I apologize, my question. Oh, it's a very good question. Like I, it's, I the, the, it's, it's the how elephant in the room. Like, how, how you can reconcile that. Yeah. Okay, so let's think of it post-World yeah. War II. Looking back at it. That's the most dangerous part. While you're in it, you're, you're busy. Yeah. But when you look back at a tragedy, that's when depression sets in. Right? So how do we look back at it? It sounds something like this. Uh, somebody hires you and says, I need you to clean up my kitchen. No, 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 go ahead. So I need you to clean up my kitchen. You say, oh, sure. They take you into the kitchen and you take one look and you say, oh, my God. <laughs> this is impossible. This is such a mess. You can't clean this thing up. It's beyond help. But then you calm down, you check it out a little bit, and say, okay, you know, you start a little here, do a little this, and eventually, yeah, we'll, we'll get it cleaned up. We were put into a world that needs fixing. It's a world that is mortal. It's a world where there is evil. The wicked prosper. The righteous suffer. It's a messed up world. That's what we're here to fix. So, in ordinary circumstances, you know, people don't get along so well, you try to make peace between them, you fix. Every now and then, we run into a darkness or an evil in this world that, it's, oh no, <laughs> this is beyond repair. Now, chuck it and start all over again. The Holocaust is one of those events. The world goes evil on you because it's still not fixed. So for a generation, we were like, okay, we quit. Can't, can't do this. You cannot make a world that includes a Holocaust into a godly place. It can't, it's too far gone. You, you can't make such evil be, become good. So this world is too messed up, we can't fix it. When the temple was destroyed by the Babylonians, the first temple, we had the same feeling. It's, it's hopeless. Hopeless. We're already in the promised land. We already have peace. We already have a temple. And that gets destroyed? This is a hopeless world. We can't fix it. So we turn to God and you say, we quit. You fix it. For a generation. Eventually we heal and we say, all right, let's fix it. The amazing thing is the Holocaust was not that long ago. Relatively speaking, right? And everyone's excited about fixing the world. You think you can fix a world that has a Holocaust? That has a Hitler and a Stalin? And... Well, yeah, if that's the job, let's do it. We've recovered. We're going back to work. So that's, that, that is the thinking. The thinking is not, God hates us, he's punishing us. This job is a little harder than we thought it was going to be. 
It's not a it's not an easy job. Things happen that are very discouraging. And you got to be strong, get over the shock and go back to fixing the world. Because the worse it is tells you how good it can be. Can you imagine if you turn all that evil into into goodness? Like terrorists who blow themselves up. Can you imagine if you took that devotion and turned it positive? Awesome. That kind of dedication to goodness? Oh, that would be something. So, if that's po yeah, so we, we didn't think it was possible for a generation. Now we're thinking. Eh. If you enjoyed this conversation or this topic, and you're looking for more information, or you want to hear it again from another angle, there is a way to do that, and that is in this book. It's all there. Order it from Amazon. You can read it, reread it, and share it.